I can tell you, it's 8.13 p.m. We still have to clean up down on the ground, but join us for this video. We're gonna check this out, start to finish. It's end phase, four microinverters, 70 feet in the air. Let's rock this baby out. Tim, I pass it to you. You put it between the, kick it in the ramp, you know, lean it against the structure. Uh, landscape. Yeah, I think. Maybe portrait puts it above the, try portrait. That puts it above the safety rope so it's not impinging. Yeah, one sec, Porf. Everything's more fun in the air. Hey, if you wanna work at Jefferson Electric, and you live in the state of Indiana, let's go, bro, let's do this. If you're aligned and you've seen our videos, you like the core values, the, the tone of the company, let's go. And you don't have to work heights. We only have four guys up here today, five. Um, you don't have to work heights. There's plenty of other jobs going right now. We've got like 12 to 17 unique jobs and service calls going every single day. That whole bundle underneath. And then, um, Tim, you can pass it up to me on the outside. Hang on to that knife for a minute. All right, just unbundle it, just unbundle it. All right. I should say most of the twist is fine. Okay, cool, yo. I am intentionally gonna let it hang down a little bit. I'm gonna shove it into the tread here and it's not going anywhere. All right, it's good. All right, that's for your side, Porphy. I got it on my side, tighten it up. And then we'll set the post in place and see what we learn for the next one. Go. Hold on. The holes are probably just a little close for, don't loosen the backside yet, I got ideas. Blacksmithing, it's moving, it's working. We're gonna win this thing. We'll have them all preloaded on the pipe. You can take this one off now. Okay, so here's a question mark. Do we wanna take three of these off and slide them on from the top, take this off? Because I don't wanna risk them falling. I think so. Oh, sorry. Yeah, pull three off. You might have to slide them off the end. I don't know. There we go. All right, I lost a bit. It's coming, bring it to the front. Yep, that's it. That's how it was formed. It's gonna go, watch out. We're like inches. There you go. From the top, watch out. Hold on to it. Keep, keep lowering. Yeah, angle it to the, to the, that's it. Angle it to the I-beam. All right, there yeah. it is, there it is. That is on it. Is it on the washer or the bolt? J just the bolt. Uh, sorry, nut? The nut. Perfect. All right, let's tight, tighten it down. That's a 19, 19 mil. But we might also be able to use a... Um, that's just hand tight to keep it from getting like knocked off or something. Um, pound it in there a bit. Get that side in. You might need to come from the top because I'm kind of in your way. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah, that might work better. One side's in. One side's in. Can you get a nut on that, Porphy? Uh. Grab two. All right, it's good. Hold it. That one's even wide. These are fine. Okay. Yeah, take it out. Well. Or do you want to get the 
Let's try it. It's easier to actually take it out and try it that way. Take it out and we'll see how it fits, yeah. All right, we're gonna be on our side of the post. Watch your fingers. All right, up a little bit. Up, up. There it is. And it butters on in there. All right, we're away from the post. Are we sitting on the bolt? Not yet. All right, Vip, you tighten it up. Okay. All right, let's get another one on there. All right, so it's coming my way. Lift it up. It's gonna come right. My way some more, right there. Are you in? Yup. Yeah. And we're gonna line up the white line with the center. Don't let go. Vip, we're sitting pretty, dude. It's not bad. We're in good shape. Don't don't rush, just do it right. Oh. I think it'll hold itself. Okay, we're there. Next. We're on it. Hey, it's Joel Walsman. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Necesita comida. I, I said that wrong. We're pulling out the high vis south wire fish tape because it's going to be getting dark here soon. Shoving down through liquid tight. Gravity is on our side, but if you've ever been an electrician, you know liquid tight. There's a ton of resistance because every little curve adds degrees of bends. The code allows for no more than 360 between pole points and liquid tight just has a knack for 480 and 520. So um, we've got it loose. The liquid tight is not strapped in place yet. We're gonna pull it up, straighten it out, shove down. Bruce is on the ground. He's gonna tie it on. We're pulling up a black, white, green, and uh, we're gonna terminate it on both ends and just see how this goes. I hope I don't fall asleep. What's the time check, Tim? 621. 621. You, you're on your living room couch right now, aren't you? I envy you. We got four end phase, end phase microinverters and this one's got a, um, needs to have got an end cap to it. So I'm just gonna carefully cut this back so that the ends, because I don't have that in cap. That was omitted from the design. We don't usually use end phase. Seems like a great system. A lot of people would kind of swear by it, but we got, we got reasons for Solar Edge. It's been good to us. So what I'm doing is I'm separating the two conductors from each other, and then I'm gonna spray a liquid electrical tape on them, and I'm gonna tuck it up out of harm's way, out of the weather, Do a couple applications here. All right, we're gonna let that sit. Six grounds. Number six is uh, it's gonna be exposed to physical damage, i.e., snow and ice, and so um, that's why it's used up here. So we, it's odd if you're an electrician, you're like, wait a second, you just pulled number ten, and now you're transitioning to number six. Yeah, heck yeah, we did. Cause that's PV code for you, bro. And so that number six is gonna stay safe as opposed to the fine strands of the number 10 conductor. That's, I don't know how many strands it is. I'm not gonna count them right now. Somebody knows, it's in the code book. But um, those strands are much, much more fragile than that singular solid number six. And so that's a design intention for durability and longevity. We want the system to be good and maintenance free for 25 years. All right, it's time to make up our connections. Uh, we're, we are going to use a wire nut on the ground because that's not going to carry any current. Um, we don't use wire nut on DC 
determinations. And I think, man, some of these decisions you make so long ago, but I think wire nuts are just not rated for DC. Plum not, They're, there's just a high failure rate. When wire nuts carry continuous DC current. So there's our grounding connection. And now we're gonna use Buchanan's. Vip, if you wanna be my extra set of hands. We're gonna use Buchanan's for this connection. How about you hold that? Buchanan's are just an incredibly reliable way. It's literally a crimp sleeve, is what it is. If you're an electrician, you're probably used to using that for grounds. Um, so you're really gonna put a crimp sleeve on it. You're gonna use your Buchanan crimpers, which these things are pretty re reasonably priced as well. And you're just, you gotta see how these things work. It's a simple crimp. And dude, it, it hits it from four sides. It's pretty phenomenal. Let me just see if we get, I'm by no means a professional Buchanan crimper. I'm gonna do two of those. Cause we want 25 years of maintenance free. So there's that. I'm gonna cut off the excess and put a cap on it. The crimps are pennies a piece. These caps are also likewise very, very inexpensive. Hold on, Jet. Bam. And you have a very, you have a DC rated, very inexpensive, very reliable termination. Like, it's just boss. Buchanan's are also beautiful in that they have a small and a large size. And they say right on the box what they're rated for. And right here, there's an adjustment A and B. And that adjustment allows you to crimp both sizes. So there's one, there's two and that thing is bossed up and then look at the mechanism inside there look at the four pins depress evenly that's pretty cool it's time to document the project in company cam i just want pics of everything that way if a solar operations and maintenance technician comes out here to work on anything they'll know yeah everything it's in the plans it's in the photos um, and I'm gonna take a picture of this guy. So that's company cam for you. It's the best app if you don't have a photo capture, site photo capture plan, and you're just using the native on your iPhone stuff. I don't care if you've got two, three, four guys, maybe even just yourself. Company cam is cost effective. It's, it's brainless. It's not easy, it's brainless. It's, but yet it's got some sophistication if you choose to dig into it but it stays simple the whole way. Check it out for your team and look for my referral link. I don't get paid for it. I'm not advertising for them, but I do get some swag if you sign up on my referral link in the description. Okay, see, I have a vision of a million dollar truck. That's right, a million dollar truck is a talented lead man with a talented electrician who worked 240 days a year with two weeks of vacation. And they need to each turn $2,000 of gross revenue per day. That's $4,000 for the truck per day, 240 working days, you throw a couple cents on top and that's a million dollars a year. That's a million dollar truck. I'm about to challenge my team, throw it out there. Who's gonna, who's gonna be the million dollar truck? You know what, it might be a couple of years before we land that, but we're gonna do it. Oh, we've got guys who are that talented. They're, they're gonna have million dollar trucks. For us, permits, for instance, not a cost center, it's a profit center, right? We mark up the cost of permits. We've got to maintain the license, we've got labor, we've got, it's the right way to go. I love pulling permits. I pull permits all the time. We get companies from out of state who call us up, they're like, hey, we're checking the permit registry and you guys pull scads of permits so we know you're doing tons of good work. Like, thank you very much. But. That $2,000 per man per day, that's the gross revenue number. That's not net profit. So that's permits and materials and everything. Today, you know what we turned? We turned almost $4,000 per man per day. Now, it was a heck of a long day, but we doubled up on the number with five guys, not two. So it's a reality and it's coming. Throw a little inflation in there. It's gonna help us out, pump up the numbers. So what my advice to you is subscribe. Electric Pro Academy. 
for real skills to make real money. And if you want to join our mastermind and you're a business owner, electrical contractor, check the description.